As a knife thrower, I've never thrown a kunai knife. I've never owned a set of them. But yesterday I was out browsing around and I saw that Dunham Sporting Goods had a set of kunai blades that is put out by the United States Marine Corps. It's just a part of their product line. I didn't buy them yesterday. I've got a little regret. So I'm going back out today to see if they still have them in stock. I'm gonna pick up a set of them and I'm gonna go and see how well I can throw these things. Lucas, open up, man. Time to go play with some throwing knives. I know you're ready for this. So yeah, I was uh, out yesterday and I saw that like Dunham's, Dunham sells like Marine Corps products. Um, they've got, you know, one of their specialty knives. I don't know what they were selling it for. I just saw that they had it. And I will tell you that throwing knives is something that's really hard to buy locally. I've never been able to buy a throwing knife locally with the exception of that one set that I found at a pawn shop. Um, and I've heard of the kunai throwing knives. I've seen them. Hollywood loves them just about every time you see a throwing knife, Expendables, a lot of different movies like that, they, they use the kunai. And um, I've never owned a set, never thrown them. They just look pretty cool. And these blades actually look pretty good that the Marines have put out. Uh, in looking at the kind of the origin of the kunai, I don't have all the details, but I do know that it was a Japanese tool used for farming, masonry, and it ended up being converted into a weapon by the ninjas. So I think that's pretty cool. It makes a very effective weapon. It's a very effective throwing weapon and up close combat weapon. So let's go see if they got these in stock and uh, let's see what we can do with them. We made a stop here at my boy Jesse's house. He's actually starting a new job today. Yeah. I'm picking him up. I'm taking him to his first day on the job. This is this is one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, but I train with this guy in martial arts and he's the real deal. <laughs> yeah, man. Jesse's a good guy. I've known him since he was about, I don't know, since he was first born. I've He's the same age as my daughter. He's been you know, in the youth group and just been real good, real faithful. And uh, we've had a lot of good times together. Jesse, you're going to school to be a meteorologist, aren't you? That's correct. Yeah, you're doing, uh, you're in community college right now and uh, you're going to be transferring. Jesse's my weatherman. You know, whenever we got functions or events we need to plan, I'm like, Jesse, come on, man, give me the scoop on the weather, man. And he's, uh, he's never been wrong. <laughs> he understands, he keeps up with it. I'll say, Jesse, Let's have a fire tonight. And then he'll say, that sounds good. And I'm like, what's gonna be the wind mile per hour, man? Because you know, you get too high in winds, you just can't, you can't do it. And he's like, you were good, man. <laughs> the wind's gonna be five miles per hour. And uh, we, uh, you know, we've been training together since, uh, what, 2016? Yeah. Uh, originally it was kickboxing and I transitioned into more of a tactical defensive style of fighting. And you know, Jesse came in 13 years old. Jesse was tripping over his own two feet, man. I was like, I don't know if this kid's gonna have what it takes. And he just kept putting in the time and putting in the work. And uh, he's just, he's done a phenomenal job. So me and Lucas are out this morning running some errands. I figured we'd pick him up and take him to work this morning. It kind of worked out perfect. So you'll be seeing more of Jesse on 411 Outdoors. All right, we've arrived at our destination. And the good news is they did not sell out. You know, this is the uh, you know, Marines brand. United States Marine Corps Throwing Academy, Kunai Blades. I'm about to walk out of here with this set of knives, Lucas. First of all, really excited that I can go somewhere locally and find throwing knives. Never been able to do that. They've never had throwing knives. And I mean, this is pretty cool. This has got a good branding. I'm pumped to have me a set that comes with a nice sheath too. Man, we're going to have some fun with this. Oh, yeah. We're going to be eating an early lunch today, buddy. Got to get an early start on it gonna go catch up with uh lucas's brother jude he's gonna join us he's, he's meeting us there right yep he's meeting us there we're going to one of my favorite italian eateries around here a place called villages i love it man it's just like our community italian eatery man they, they got just great food it's like five minutes from the house what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a bite to eat then we're gonna go back to camp 411 me and uh, jude and lucas we're gonna throw some blades we're gonna walk around on the trail and just experience this beautiful day it's pretty cold here today uh, it's a cold fall day. It's about 46, so we're going to wrap up and enjoy the sunshine and the rays. Let's go get some grub. Dude, what's up, dude? How's it going? Now, th these are brothers, man. Like, this is the younger brother, the older brother, but we're catching up today. We're going to hang out at Camp 411 and do some throwing. Yes, sir. But first things first, let's eat. get some grub. Yes, sir. <laughs> there are many things in life that make me happy. Do you know what one of those things are? Cheesy fries. 
bacon cheese fries. Bacon cheese fries. <laughs> All right, it's back to Camp 411. Jude's first time ever seeing it. Let's get that first reaction filmed. He gets to see it in video all the time. Here it is, Jude. Love it. It's wide open. It took forever to get it like this. All these knife throwing targets, makeshift wind chung dummy, punching pads here, plinkers, you name it. All right, we made it to the camp. We're gonna do a little bit of throwing. Never thrown these kinds of knives before. I did a little warming up inside before we came out. Uh, this feels very light. I did a, a review a couple of days ago, well, a couple of weeks ago on some knives I bought from a pawn shop. I think they were something, Hunter knives of some sort. They were a brand I had never heard of, but they were still even heavier than the Ku knives that I've got here from the Marines. Nevertheless, it is heavy enough to throw effectively. Um, half spin throwing does seem to do really well with these. And full spin, the only one, the only real way to do this is, you know, pinching this ring, it's the best way. Hammer grip doesn't work too well with these. So I'm going to take a few shots at one of my targets over here and we'll see what we can get done. So we're going to just start with a, a half spin throw. I was a little far away as you can tell. It's going to close in the distance a little bit with these. There it is. Perfect distance. This is a, a lighter knife, but pretty good penetration there. So I like the half spin with these a whole lot. Let's try the full spin here. I think I'm at the right distance. There it is. There's the distance here. Depending on the weight is the distance, you know, a lot of times. So far, not a fan of the, the power that I'm feeling on the rotational throwing. The up close half spin feels pretty cool. Do a little assessment here. Difficult, not a big, I, I would want to throw a heavier kunai. I would want to throw a heavier. The way this is set up, even makes rotational throwing difficult. The heavier a blade is, the better it travels. This is very light and uh, half spin is pretty cool. Feels pretty good to throw some half spin. You could do some trick shots. I like to sometimes do trick shots with half spin. Sometimes you can get in tight. I'll take two knives and do a trick shot, but just, I never struggle with rotational throwing, single rotation, but with these blades and this ring and the dynamic, it's something I'm really gonna have to work on and, and get used to. This time, we're gonna switch gears. I'm gonna let my friends here, Lucas and Jude, get into knife throwing for the first time, right guys? Yes, yeah. So first time you've ever thrown. So we're gonna start off with half spin throwing. About the same distance I was here, you know, around in this area, holding the blade, letting it go. It travels half a distance, comes out of your hand, boom, just like that. Let's get give started. it a shot. See how, see how like different that feels in the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Lucas, tell me your observations. What, what, what was causing you to struggle in the beginning? At the very beginning? beginning, I was overthrowing it. Kind of like sometimes how pitchers hold the ball too long. Yeah, I was releasing it too late. And so eventually I got to where the release point was right. And it felt good. I was trying to throw it too hard in the beginning as well. Very cool. I eventually fixed Try to keep it. Oh! Looks like he's too far away. Close in the distance just a little bit, G, because every man is different. Oh! There you go, dude. Two for the viewers. Oh, yeah. yeah! When all else fails, man, break out the S wing and start slinging. Just hammer grip it, man, and go natural. Oh, yeah. There it is, first throw. You know what's really cool? I'll tell you something about this, this trail. I lived here for, I don't know, man, 10 years before I decided to just come see what was down here. Can you believe, just turn the camera around, show them the woods, the pipeline, and then, then it's my yard and then my house. I lived there 10 years before I walked across this pipeline and started going down this trail.
we just gonna sling an axe at this dead tree. This thing's about to kill over. And the worst thing about it is, is when it does fall, it's gonna come right across the creek bed, but it won't, it'll, it'll be in the air. It'll be elevated because it'll land on the other branch. I mean, the other bank. Let's just sling some axes, man. You ready? Let's do this. Close in that distance a little bit. Oh yeah. Yes. Finally, yes sir. You know, this spot right here is always going to be sacred for me. This is always my favorite spot because me and my uh, youngest daughter uh, discovered this together. We were just out searching to see what we could find. And we saw this opening and we said, that looks like a creek. We didn't know. We had no clue. We came down here and she was so, her reaction, man, she was so cute. Time goes by so fast, but that's that's why this spot will always be special to me because we, we discovered this together. We were like, we couldn't believe this was in our backyard. Really cool. That's a wrap. Another good Friday adventure. Tested out the uh, Marine Corps Kunai knives. Not a big fan of them, a little too flimsy for me, but anyway, it was fun taking the journey to see how those things throw. I can say I threw a Kunai now and uh, had a good time with these guys. Appreciate you joining us today. And I'm going to catch you in the next video.